Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your boy playing more Bloodborne. All right, in our last episode, we finished off Kanehurst Castle. We um, joined the Vile Bloods. Actually, did I not do the thing? I did not do the thing. Oh well, who cares? I can do that later. In this episode, we are going to finish off the last of the side areas in the game. So, without further ado, I think, yeah, I know I've showed off this area before. We uh, came this direction when we made our way to the um, abandoned workshop. Um, and if you remember, at the very tippy top of this place was the closed door. Well, to open that door, you gotta go to Kanehurst Castle. Alrighty. There we go, hey, we used Upper Cathedral Key that we got from Kanehurst Castle and puts us at Upper Cathedral Ward. Oh my god! And we got weird baby things. I hate weird baby things. Weird baby things go home, you crazy. Ugh. Ugly baby thingies. Which, if I remember, these things called Frenzy, so yeah. Anything that causes Frenzy can just get the fuck right out. And just like that, we've reached our only lantern of the entire area. So I say we uh, head back to the Hunter's Dream and uh, clean myself up a bit. Because, heaven forbid, I know I'm going to need it. All right, we are back, and I've had to change it up, change up the look a bit. You know, something a bit more fitting than epic looking. Because you know how it is. Sometimes the coolest armor is kind of the shittiest. But, okay. Figured out the secret technique for weird, uh, gooey feeties. Gooey, gooey feeties I. A goofus. What's the most polite way I can say gooey fetus without offending anyone? Because that's what these things are. Uh-huh. Cool. So, if you see that, just a nice little simple courtyard. But, uh-oh, there's a werewolf. And don't go down that way. He's out activate a werewolf. Fuck, I hate this part. So let's see what we got. One werewolf on the ceiling. Uh, just the one. Anyway, go down here. And there's three dudes, and they are fucking pissed. So we're gonna go ahead and just run away. Here's where you wanna be. Because the exploit is that they can't fit through the door. So all you kinda gotta do is just stand and um this is how you handle them. God even the game knows this <laughs> Even the game knows this tactic's broken. Okay, no, that's not it. That's not it at all. We're gonna kinda ignore that. That's... These things always lead to danger. Or to us. Okay. Well, that worked out in our favor. Oh, fuck! What? Damn you, bitch! Ugh. Shit, damn it! Ah, fuck, no. God damn it. That's why I hate these things. 
Okay, this won't kill, right? This won't kill, right? Up the, oh look, my my vials, my blood. Wait, why are you back? Oh, were there two of them? Okay. We're gonna use this. This thing called liquid meditation. Kind of like the sugars from Sekiro. Ah. There's one down. Oh god. Oh, fuck yes. Got one bogey. And we get more blue elixir. Uh-huh, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's also a thing. We got pearl slugs, and we got a little shortcut. So this at least, we don't have to worry about the wolves, just in case anything goes south. But guess what? We're still not finished. Boy. We got not one gooey, but two gooeys. And you know how I feel about these little fuckers. Like feeling them up the ass. That's how I feel. Ah! Oh, thank fucking God. Whew. Now, oh, shit, we still got one more of these. Well, anyway, our biggest little thing we really need to come here for is Zelda music, please. You know how there's praising sun and dark souls? Well, in Bloodborne, it's making contact. Ah, yeah. Oh, boy, boy Ritual Bloods, very nice. Very nice. And that's kind of it. Like I said, it's very short, but like, difficult area. Don't know why it has to be, but yeah. That's basically... <laughs> that's basically the entirety of Cathedral, Upper Cathedral Ward. Alright. Hey, we're just as that one asshole we met at Bergenworth. Remember that guy? What a fucking buffoon and shit. Nice little open courtyard. Sure, I sure hope nothing bad happens. Oh, here it is. Here's the Celestial Emissary. Go! Well, that was that fun adventure. But guess what, boyo? We're not done here just yet. Because behind this door is something extra spooky. Alrighty. Well, what we got ahead of us is what I can only say is probably the hardest boss in the base game. So, you know, hardest boss with no DLC. Would recommend uh, a lot of physical defense. And we're, I'm going to go for why refer to as a one two combo so leave with the tantris and finish up with uh ludwig's holy blade plus volt paper now you can if you beat dark beast parl you could buy more bolt paper so I recommend at least doing that boss fight before this one but yeah <laughs> i mean i beat it before but it is not a fun thing to fight it's just not a very fun boss. Alps of Despair. Look at it. Look at his ugly fucking thing. It's goddamn hideous. This gelatinous bitch. Quite honestly, the bane of my existence. Actually, I hate it. It's, it's very ugly. Hands down. Two okay, let's enter from this direction. 
So we're gonna try to get off a nice, easy, solid hit. And pray that everything kind of just works out in the end. That did not work out like I planned. That really didn't work out like I was. This is Ebrietos, daughter of the cosmos. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Oh, I fucking hate this thing. Come on. Yes, get it, please, let me have it. Please, let me have this. Yes! Alright, this is a hate to phase two because it just eats your health. It also causes frenzy. What? What? The fuck? Please don't kill. Please do not kill. No. Fuck, what? Why did he get a grab move? Okay. Ah, shit. Fuck. If I can obviously see what I'm doing half the time, that'll be great with this boss fight. Shit, fuck. Bitch. What the fuck? Like, how are you hitting me? What the fuck? Come on! That's bullshit! What the hell? Come on. Ah, shit. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Uh. Damn it. No, fuck, god damn it. Stop it. Just stop. Like, for fuck's sake, why am I getting caught on your gooey ass vagina? <sighs> Please do damage. Oh yes. Fucking GG too easy. Oh god bless. And that is the hardest boss in the entire base game of Bloodborne. I hope that fucking got recorded. I'd be upset if it didn't. But anyway, what was the purpose of coming down here to fight Ebrietas? I mean... Really, why? Why, why here? Uh, well, your the first major thing is this altar all the way back here. If we inspect it, we offer up flesh. And remember last episode... We got the queenly flesh. So we bring that here. Ta uh -huh. That's pretty something something. And what that does is the return of the queen. So she's back. I welcome. What is thy wish? Um that's kind of it. It just kind of brings her back for the whole blood dirge thing. Uh, I don't really think it does much else. But yeah, that's that's what Eprietos does. That little side detail. Um, but I don't think I'm done just yet. There's uh, something else important I gotta do that I've been neglecting. All right, back here again. And we got to go do 
A little, uh, we gotta go finish up another side quest that I've been kind of ignoring because if you ask me, this side quest is probably the hardest one to accomplish. It's Eileen! Hey girl, not looking so hot. Care to explain? Protect me, Michael! I'm simping, Scar. The really best way to win is kind of, kind of wait him out. He can't heal himself, he's got like, infinite as fuck bullets. But, you know, he has the Chikage, and if he does the second move, he actually hurts himself, so use that to your advantage. He also likes to do the teleport thing a lot. Okay, and just hurts like a bitch. He's always open after a dodge, because he always likes to attack after a dodge. Okay. You know what was bullshit? That was. What?! How the fuck did that miss? I was like right next to him. Oh boy. Oh fucker! Like, god damn it. Alright, well, actually, I'm curious. I think I'm onto something here. You slut. Ah! I'm out. What the fuck? What the hell? Like, I, I, what? The, I'm, I'm baffled by that. I should have fucking hit him. Fucking god damn it. He walked right into that one, still fucking missed. That's the bullshit one. Dead son, you're motherfucking dead. Enough of your bullshit. Here. For you. Yes, and this is the end of the Eileen side quest, granting us the Crow Hunter badge and the Hunter Sigil, which is the last coven in the base game of Bloodborne, giving us a grand total of four. Yay. All right, well, with both of those out of the way, I say we finally take this to the final level in the game. Let's go, boys! The end is near. Oh, fuck, Frenzy. Oh, That doesn't say final level with a fucking... random eye shit giving a Frenzy that I don't know what is a final level. Anyway, this place... Pretty lit. And from here on out, it's end game. So I'll be seeing y'all. Wait, where did, there is it? What? No, I hit fucking goddamn it. I'll see y'all next time.